What's up everyone, welcome back. A common question I've been seeing lately, and a very good question at that, is when will Kendrick Nunn be coming back? For the better part of 3 months following his initial injury, we really had zero indication of when that might be happening. However, lately we have gotten a few hints at when Kendrick Nunn could possibly be returning. Not only has Frank Vogel been more optimistic when asked about Kendrick Nunn during the past month, but LeBron even gave us a good indication of when he thinks Kendrick Nunn may be coming back as well. I'll provide you with every detail that we know about when Kendrick Nunn may be returning, and then give you my prediction on when he will return based on what we have learned. Obviously, I cannot give you the exact date of when he will be guaranteed to return, but I think I can come up with a pretty accurate timeline from the information that we do know. And to begin, going back to early December, we got our first mention of Kendrick Nunn from Frank Vogel in a very long time. And while he initially only mentioned that he will not be returning in 2021, he did add that Nunn was quote unquote, getting closer. Now, I know that he has said pretty much that exact phrase multiple times now, but a few more details about Kendrick Nunn were revealed shortly after that. Following that, on December 13th, The Athletic reported that Kendrick Nunn was targeting a return in January. They did not pinpoint a date for his return, but that did finally give us a timeline for when he could be coming back. However, shortly after that, Kendrick Nunn entered the health and safety protocol, which very likely delayed his progress, because we did not get another injury update about him after that until January. But finally, on January 3rd, not only was it revealed that Kendrick Nunn had begun doing on-court activities, but Frank Vogel even mentioned that he had been making progress and had been doing more on the court. And that was then confirmed to us with actual video of Kendrick Nunn doing on the court work prior to their game on January 4th, which was definitely needed for people like me, who had begun believing that Kendrick Nunn was simply only a myth at that point. Okay, okay, all joking aside though, finally getting video of him working out on the court was a very positive confirmation of what Frank Vogel had been telling us. Per usual, Frank Vogel gave us the he is getting closer comment again, but he did add that Kendrick Nunn will be getting quote unquote, a ton of minutes when he does return. And LeBron added to that by revealing, soon we will get Kendrick Nunn back as well when referring to their team getting healthy, and then said that Anthony Davis would be returning not too far after Kendrick Nunn. His prediction about AD is definitely important, but in regard to Kendrick Nunn, what he revealed can really help us to pinpoint a better timeline than what we had before. And I say that because we already know that Anthony Davis will be reevaluated for his injury around January 15th, and then will likely not be back for another week or two after that. But if LeBron believes that Kendrick Nunn will be returning before AD, we could potentially be seeing him back on the court within a couple of weeks. In order to return before Anthony Davis, along with following the report from The Athletic about him targeting a return in January, that would likely mean his timeline would be between January 21st and January 30th. They play in 6 games during that time, and I believe it is fair to think that he will return in one of them. Again, I am not their team doctor, and I do not have access to all of their information, so I cannot confirm anything here, but given all of the information that we have gotten up until this point, I think that would be a fair timeline to expect him back in. But with that, that will conclude my thoughts on when Kendrick Nunn might be returning. I hope that helped any of you who have been wondering about him, and may have given you a little bit of clarity. But let me know what you think about his potential return by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. But before you go, I would like to invite you to join the official Discord for the channel. If you like NBA and Laker related debates and news updates, then I guarantee you would enjoy it. And if you want to join, be sure to click the link on the video or in the description down below. And if you want additional NBA content from me on YouTube, head over to my second channel called JSM Plus. I make videos about the entire NBA over there, so if you think you might enjoy that, make sure to check it out. That will do it for this video though. 
big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.